Atomic number and mass number. The presence of positive charge on the nucleus is due to the protons in the nucleus. The charge of a proton is equal but opposite to that of an electron. The number of protons present in the nucleus is equal to the atomic number given by capital Z. For example, the number of protons in the hydrogen nucleus is 1. In a sodium atom, it is 11. Therefore, their atomic numbers are 1 and 11, respectively. In order to keep electrical neutrality, the number of electrons in an atom is equal to the number of protons, that is, the atomic number, capital Z. Atomic number is equal to number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, which is equal to the number of electrons in the neutral atom. While positive charge of the nucleus is due to the protons, the mass of the nucleus is due to protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons present in the nucleus are collectively known as nucleons. The total number of nucleons is termed as mass number of the atom represented by capital A. Therefore, the mass number of an atom is equal to the number of protons, capital Z, plus the number of neutrons, N. Let's apply this to an example. The number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in an atom are equal to 18, 16, and 16, respectively. Calculate the atomic mass. Solution. The atomic number of the atom is equal to the number of protons, which is equal to 16 in this case. Therefore, the element is sulfur. We know that the atomic mass number, capital A, is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Therefore, the atomic mass of sulfur is equal to 16 plus 16 is equal to 32.